Hey guys, how are we all doing? Hope you're doing fine. Today we are gonna be learning more things about energy. So let's start. Electrical energy is moving electrons. When electrons move, they produce electrical energy. Oh my god! No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, yeah. Jokes aside, electrical energy is just moving electrons. An electron is a part of an atom, and the thing in blue is electrical energy inside the electron, of course. Light energy is the type of energy which helps us to see things. For example, this is light. Yes! This is light. Is it light? Is it light? Say yes or no. You didn't say yes? Okay, I'm gonna continue anyway. So this is light. This light will go into your eye and then help you see whatever you want to see. Because see, the light energy is the energy which helps us to see things. Light energy is also called luminous energy and all. Suppose you want to see... Suppose you want to see this green leaf. So, oh my god. So because you want to see this leaf, the light energy will come... So the li so because you want to see the leaf, the light energy from the leaf will come into your eye, which will help you to see the leaf. Yeah, that's an example, but not only does light energy help you to see things, it also helps you to see whatever you wanna see. Wanna, wanna see? Wanna see, okay, yeah. Heat energy. Heat energy is the energy which makes you feel hot or cold. For example, if you feel cold in Antarctica, it means that you have it means that there is lots of cold heat energy in Antarctica. But if you feel hot in deserts, it means there's lots of hot heat energies in deserts. Let us take an example. Suppose the thing in yellow is heat energy. This heat energy you want to feel hot or cold. Wait, you actually don't want to feel hot or cold. Actually, I don't know if you want to feel hot or cold, but let's take an example. So, so heat energy, oh my god, are you kidding me? Why did it become as small as an atom? So, come on, become bigger. OMG, great. So, heat energy will help me to feel hot or cold, as an ex so we just took an example of it. And, like, how does heat energy make us feel hot or cold? Well, when the heat energy touches your skin your the cells on your skin the cells on your skin take the heat so the cells of your skin take the heat because the because the brain told him to take the heat now the cell is like what do i do with this heat brain and the brain says that make the person feel hot or cold that's how you feel hot or cold, okay? It's a very complex process. May seem easy, but it's not. Stored form of energy. Magnetic energy, the energy in matter. Chemical energy. Oh my god. So, um, let's just take an example of chemical energy, of course. Wait. So, suppose- oh wait. So the chemical energy is in yellow. So the chemical energy is given in yellow. So suppose this is an atom with seven electrons. And this is an atom with one electron. These two want to combine. Yeah. So these two want to combine. I don't know why but these two just want to combine. Because this atom has seven electrons. And this atom has one electron. And because of that, these two atoms want to combine. I mean, in real life, the atoms will not combine because they have several electrons and one electron. 
No. Oh my god, wait a So suppose this atom has X number of electrons and this atom has Z number of electrons. And because of that, they want to combine. Yes, atoms want to combine with each other because of the numbers of because of the number of electrons they have. I will explain this in further detail in future videos. But just now remember that and atoms want to combine because of the number of electrons that they have. So, for example, this atom has X number of electrons and this atom has Z number of electrons. And because of that, they want to combine. And the number of electrons is helping them to combine. And and not only is the number, but not only is the number of electrons helping them to combine, but the num, but the what do you call it? The chemical energy is also helping you to combine. The chemical energy is also helping you to combine. So chemical energy is the energy. Chemical energy is the energy which is stored in matter and is always there for chemical reactions. For example, these two are these two atoms are matter, and the chemical energy is always avail available for chemical reactions, and the yellow chemical energy helped a reaction to happen. Yeah. So suppose these two atoms are matter. Okay, so chemical energy stored in matter part is checked. So the energy stored by matter and is always available for using is chemical energy. So energy stored by matter part is checked because the two atoms are matter. And is always available for using... Uh, always available for using part is check So this is chemical energy Yeah Great, that's the definition of chemical energy if none of you understand please tell me in the comments Yeah, so um Now let us learn about energy transformation So God, again. Wait, no guys, we're not gonna learn about energy transformation, we're gonna learn about muscular energy. Muscular energy is the energy stored in your muscles. Nuclear energy is the energy which is stored in a nucleus of an atom. So easy to understand, right? Yeah? Great. Now let me... So guys, back! So, energy transformation, we're gonna be learning about energy transformation. So... Before learning energy transformation, we have to learn something very important. The law of energy. The law of conversion of energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but can be converted from one form to another. Means, means that energy cannot be created, but it cannot be destroyed also. But it can be converted into one energy to another energy. An example is photosynthesis, because see, in photosynthesis, the leaf gets life energy. The leaf gets light energy from the sun, and makes that life energy into food. See, so easy to understand. So easy to understand, guys. This is literally so easy to understand. Like, oh my god, I can't even. Now let us quickly learn about the sources of energy. Okay, sun. Sun is the source of solar energy. Whenever you see solar in any, t whenever you see solar, it means related to the sun. So solar energy means the energy of the sun. Biomass produces any type of energy. Running water produces hydro energy. When you see hydro, it means related to water. So, running water produces hydro energy, tides produce tidal energy, the wind produce wind energy. See how easy it is to understand? In the next video, we're gonna be learning a relationship between work and en energy and conversation of work and energy. Bye.